one way, one thing you can do if you find an image uh, that is not a rectangular sized image and you're left with these kind of side panels of checkerboard, which in Photoshop means transparency, we don't want to have those in our final design. So just to show you uh, an example of where you would use the eyedropper tool and the paint bucket tool, um, this is how you would do it. So I have this image and if I want to fill this this side with kind of this yellowy color and this side with that red color, sort of continuing the image, here's how you would do it. You hit the I on the keyboard, the letter I, okay, and you get this little eyedropper tool. And when you click on any color, so I'm going to click on this yellow, you'll see at the bottom of your toolbar where those color blocks are, the top one turns whatever that color was. So it would happen if I clicked on black too, there's black. Or red, there's red. So I'm going to click on the yellow, okay, and I'm going to hit G on the keyboard. So up until now, G is, we've used it for the gradient tool, but it shares that slot on the toolbar with the paint bucket tool. So you can either right click on it or you could click and hold and you'll see. We don't want the 3D material drop tool. That kind of looks like a paint bucket too, but we want the paint bucket tool. Okay. And all you have to do is click once in that empty area and it fills with that color. So it's literally like you're pouring a bucket of paint of that color on that space. And now to do the red, I'm going to hit I again for the eyedropper tool. So now I have red down there. And I'm going to hit G for the paint bucket tool, which is actually really where the gradient, that's why you're hitting G, but the paint bucket is put in there with it. And then just click. And there you go. You have an image that's slightly modified version of the one you, you found, but you were able to kind of fill in those side panels.